Back here in the nation, after firing 4,000 striking workers on Monday, Korea's rail operator today let go of 1,500 additional railway workers for continuing a strike over a suspected privatization plan. And despite the battle put up by its union, Corail nonetheless approved the controversial move to establish a new affiliate. Son Jung-in reports on the latest. The conflict between the nation's railway corporation and its labor union is not expected to subside anytime soon, with the management's decision Tuesday evening to dismiss an additional 1,500 railway union workers from their posts following a removal of more than 4,000 on Monday. A total of 5,941 union workers are now out of work for going on strike to stand against what they believe is a move to privatize Corail. Members of Korea Railway Board meeting have approved a set of a subsidiary firm to operate KTX trains connecting southern Seoul to the central and southern provinces of Chungcheongdo and Jeollado by 2016. Union members of the train operators staged protests outside the Corail building as the board meeting was being held. In response to the strike, Corail has asked the police to investigate illegal labor actions and the obstruction of working environments. Unionized workers say Corail's KTX plans could result in mass layoffs and fare hikes, but the company denies the claim, saying the new unit will be 41 percent and 59 percent owned by Corail and state-run investors respectively, and that private firms will never be allowed to buy stakes in it. The government says the union's argument holds no ground and blamed the union workers for escalating a labor dispute that has disrupted some train services. However, public inconvenience is expected to worsen as the labor union for Seoul subway lines 1 through 4 has vowed to go on strike next Wednesday to join the rail workers. Son Jung-in, Arirang News.